I figured out the fact that the desire to change comes from the heart of each and every individual of the state. Each and every being of this 70 years old nation. I figured out the fact that no one is coming to rescue us anymore. That no one is coming to retrieve this country anymore. That no one is coming to change the future of this country anymore. So I screamed and asked you all, if not now, when? If not us, who? If not us. Mr. President, sir, the current scenario of our nation is so blurry that we hardly see anything. The screeches of the victims are so low that we hardly listen to them. The burning lust for making our destiny is so hard that we merely stand with a grip of it. Why don't we listen to the helpless cries of that brother? whose school-going little sister in Jhampur was gang-raped mercilessly by four individuals in the broad daylight in a democratic country with the attack of Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Why do we ignore the blood of Pakhtun which is shattered in Bajor Agency, in Kuram Agency, and in Waziristan, in a democratic country with attack of Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Why don't we listen to the helpless cries of the thousands of Pakistanis who are committing suicides due to poverty, unemployment, and inequality in a democratic country with attack of Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Sun rises dipped in our blood and sex with the burning of their bodies. Wind goes carrying our cries and it's rain having our tears. One can debate and ask that for how long, for how long we are going to act like a deaf, dumb and blind. For how long, for how long we are going to say that this all is a Jewish plan. For how long we are going to accuse the superpower of our own petty deeds. For how long, for how long we are going to say that we are under the influence of United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to listen. It's time to speak. It's time to witness, observe and act. Because if not now, when? If not us, who? If not us. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to become a change. We have to change for betterment. We have to change to eliminate poverty, to eradicate hunger. We have to enlighten each and every mind to knowledge. We have to check the exploitation of human rights. Peace should be brought and political awareness should be inculcated. I can see a brilliant and bright morning out of this thick layer of pitch, tar, clouds surrounding our sanity of my pure nation. I can see nation of Kaidiyata prospering and finding the real Pakistani spirits inside their hearts. I can see Islamic Republic of Pakistan to be born again, all over again.